just as a video camera uh, divides the light up into the red, the blue, and the green for one area that it's looking at. It splits that off. You can split that off multispectrally too. And there are many ways of doing this from prisms to uh, fiber optics to uh, um, uh, uh, slits. There's just many ways of doing it and depends on the wavelength region that you're in as to which one you'll use. But you can divide all of those up and collect all of those wavelength regions at the, at the same time for the same pixel. So then when you have a multispectral image, what you have is for each spectral, uh, uh, for each uh, pixel, our, our, that's the minimum area on the ground that you can see instantaneously at any one time. For the, that pixel, for each pixel, you've got, if you have n spectral bands, then you've got n values there for each one of those pixels. Now Landsat Thematic Mapper, for instance, has seven spectral bands, actually eight, there's a, there's a panchromatic band also. So it's got eight different wavelength regions that you can record for every pixel in the scene. And then you can play the game, you know, you or I can only see things in the visible, right? blue, green, and red. So I can take any of those three bands and I can show them back in any combination of red, blue, green that I want to. We call that false color. Now there are other things you can do with it too. What I like to do is create spectral ratio images. Now why are they important? Well, consider uh, a hill, a hillside. The slope toward the sun is much brighter than the slope away from the sun, which may be in shadow. So the bright to dark on that hill is controlled more by its topography than by its chemical composition. However, it's the same slopes whether you're talking about wavelength 1 or wavelength 2 or spectral band 3 or spectral band 4, whatever. Now if you ratio two bands together, pixel by pixel. Then you can start looking at the chemical compositional information and you will wipe out that shadow. You will wipe out the differences in the slope and it will look like it's got less information to begin with because it won't appear as sharp. You know, you won't see sharp edges, but you will see compositional information related to what that's made of. And that's what I do when I'm doing uh, multispectral mapping for uh, oil, gas, and mineral exploration.